Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. So we had a rattle in the back of this 2009 Honda CRV when we were going over bumps and we noticed that this sway bar link on the right rear side is actually broken. You can see it actually came out, the socket came out and this is the rattling that we're hearing. So if you have a rattle in the rear of your vehicle, yours could be broken like this. So if you need sway bar links or other parts for your vehicle, check out 1AAuto.com. All right, before I take these nuts off, I'm gonna spray them down with some rust penetrant. They're a little bit rusty. All right, now that I sprayed that down for a while and let it sit, uh, we're gonna take this nut off. I'm gonna use a, some locking pliers first on the back side of this so that the stud won't spin. Um, there is, you could put a, it looks like an Allen or a Torx, but this is very rusted. So it's just easiest if I use some locking pliers. So with those locked on, then I'm going to take a 14 millimeter socket and I'm going to loosen it up. And the locking pliers. So I'm clamping these lock, I got some bigger locking pliers and I'm clamping them to this little like washer looking thing right there. And it's preventing my stud from spinning like that. To do these, you don't have to take the rear tire off. You could to help you gain access to it, but it's not necessary. And we'll pull that stud right up. Right. Now we're going to do the same for the other one. Let's get the locking pliers on the back side. Use our 14 millimeter socket and the ratchet. I want to make sure the socket's all the way down. Got that nut off, and we can pull the stud and the link out all together. This is our old sway bar link. This is our new sway bar link from 1AAuto.com. If you look at the shapes, the shapes are the same. They have the same stud configuration. Actually, right here, you could actually put a wrench, so it's gonna be easier for installation. They come with new nuts. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, now we're gonna line these up. Start the bottom one and you can push on the sway bar itself. Line the top one up. Once those are both in there, then we can install the nuts. Get 
that one started. Get this one started. We can use a 15 millimeter wrench on the back side of the stud to hold it from spinning. We can use a 14 millimeter socket with a ratchet to tighten down the nut. Snug that down and we'll snug the other one down. torque the top nut to 28 foot pounds I'm using the 14 millimeter socket and this torque wrench. We actually sell this torque wrench at 1aauto.com. So the top nut was 28 foot pounds. The bottom nut is 29 foot pounds. So we'll torque that one to 29 foot pounds. We're all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.